Well, look who's back in the garage. It's good old Long Dong Marquee. Hey guys, welcome back. So I just got done watching one of my favorite Crown Vic channels, and that's Mr. Black from Pacific Northwest Car Mods and Maintenance. And he was having an overheating issue on his 2011 P7B, and he shows how to diagnose it and replace the cooling fan. And he said something in that video that I really liked and uh, I thought I would take this opportunity because it applies to all Panther cars from 1995 to 2011. Crown Vic, Grand Marquis, Town Car, and Marauder. So uh, the thing that he said was uh, when you're checking out the fan to see if it works or not, you can disconnect the cylinder head temperature sensor and the PCM will recognize a default value and think the engine is at full hot and it will uh, turn on the fan full blast. So I came out here and I was wondering if there was a way to turn on the fan uh, with my handy dandy fancy bi-directional scan tool. So I hooked it up to my 2004 uh, Crown Vic and it didn't work. And I thought there was something wrong with my scan tool. So I hooked it up to my 2010 uh, Grand Marquis and it did work. And then I realized uh, 2005 is when they put in the CAN bus system. And that's when the bi-directional uh, strategies got real sophisticated. So you can only turn on the uh, cooling fan with a scan tool from the uh, 2005 to 2011 models. And the 04 and older, you just got to stick with your basic uh, tried and true uh, troubleshooting. So um, I'd like to uh, show you how this thing uh, can turn on the cooling fan and then I want to give you some other uh, optional tips. So I've already got this thing fired up uh, ready to go and by the way I'm testing out this uh, $34 Walmart uh, on tablet. Uh, this thing was uh, refurbished and it works uh, just as good as my Samsung uh, tablet that I had uh, when I'm using this scan tool and I really like that. So uh, these are the uh, control modules. We're going to get into PCM and uh, actuation tests. and fan control and here we go as soon as I turn this on it should come on and maybe you can see the paper moving okay so that worked so uh, that right there can be um, uh, one way to check to see if that fan is working and the reason why I like using the scan tool is, is because it tells you uh, everything is communicating. The PCM is uh, commanding it on and it's actually coming on. And uh, when I was in the scan tool I, I also went into the live data and you can pull uh, the live data for the cooling fan and it says on here cooling fan driver fault uh, no fault and you can also look at the uh, percentage duty cycle and it, it was at 32 percent when I uh, took the, the little movie here and uh, I really like these printouts from this A30M it's got you, you can put in your address uh, it, it automatically pulls the VIN number the model year the uh, make or the model and but for some reason it doesn't record the mileage I've got to send them an email to get that fixed and um, you can even put your website and put the technician name. So this is real helpful if you're uh, trying to keep track of a problem or maybe even you have a mobile repair business. So this was at 824 and then I wanted to see if the fan would come on when I disconnect the sensor. So I started the engine, uh, got it to normal operating temperature and I disconnected the uh, cylinder head temperature sensor. Let me show you where that's at. And that's uh, this thing right here. Let me give you a better shot of it. So 
So I disconnected that while it was running at normal operating temperature and sure enough the uh, cooling fan kicked on. So that was real nice to uh, confirm and verify. So when I did that, when I disconnected the uh, when I disconnected the uh, CHT sensor, it turned on the check engine light and threw a code. So keep that in mind. If you're going to use that method, uh, you're going to get this code right here: P1289, high input of C uh, cylinder head temperature sensor. Okay, so. Um, now I want to go over some, add some of the optional tips. So if your cooling fan is not coming on, and it should be coming on, of course the first thing is you want to check your fuses. And I'll go over that in just a second. And uh, there's, there's three other parts of this. There's the, uh, the fan motor, and then there's a module that controls the, the motor, and then there's the control circuit. And I like to call that the PCM side of things, and that's the wires coming from the module all the way to the PCM and then the worst case scenario the PCM itself so uh, let me uh, show you these fuses so this is your uh, fuse box right here and it's real easy for the cooling fan it's this one uh, right there on the top left and uh, just check it visually if it's visually good it's probably good but if you're like me and your eyesight is failing uh, you may not want to trust that especially if you've got a fuse and it looks like this it's so cloudy you can't see the element in there so what I like to do is I like to take my meter and just put it on a, a continuity check and pull out the fuse and check it that way And if it beeps, of course, you've you got a good fuse. And since you're already here and you've already got your meter, uh, I would like to suggest to check all your other fuses uh, because it's just so easy to do it with this check here. Like that. And uh, it's a good idea to check all the rest of your fuses here and then check the uh, fuse box on the inside by your left knee. Uh, because when you're diagnosing something electrical like this, uh, it's possible that you might have a, uh, another issue that's compounding on this issue, and uh, you might be end up chasing your tail. So uh, that's the fuses. Okay, so now one way to check the motor is if the motor's working, this right here is the the this right here is the uh, connector to the module I gotta get on this side and then down in here right there that is the connector that goes to the fan so if you disconnect that you'll see two pins and then what you can do is you can just get uh, two jumper wires and connect it directly to power but you might want to fuse this and uh, if it comes on then you know the fan motor works and then I got into my uh, service literature and I wanted to see if there was a testing procedure to check if the module is faulty and there was no uh, testing procedure it doesn't look like um, there is one and I have a feeling it's because they sell this unit this cooling fan unit as uh, one complete unit uh, from Ford. So the module uh, probably most likely cannot be repaired uh, uh, easily. And uh, then if you want to get real high tech you can check the control circuit and you're going to go pinpoint testing with the wires from the uh, module all the way to the PCM. Check Check if the ground is good or if you've got any uh, short to ground or short to power on the ground wire, the hot wire, and the signal wire going to the PCM. Okay, so um, that's uh, pretty much all I got. And uh, 
I, earlier I said this applies to all Panther cars from 1995 to 2011. And uh, down below in the description I'll put the part numbers for the OEM Ford Motorcraft uh, fan motor and module assembly. And then uh, Dorman, they've also got you covered. If you can't find an OEM one, you can head over to Dorman. And then I also found at 1A Auto, you can buy the module only if your module is fried. And uh, depending on your application and what you can find, uh, you might even be able to get one at the junkyard. Okay, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.